What's up, y'all? Got some more gun stuff today. Got me and, me and my dad out here. And uh, we about to check him out. We at the, uh, the gun show out here at the Crown Coliseum. We're gonna look around, see, uh, you know, what we can find out here and show y'all a little bit of stuff and how this, uh, how the gun show go. And, uh, but yeah, we right now, we waiting on my, on my sister to come through. But y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna show y'all around. We're gonna see what we got. All right. So y'all, we done made it in. Got my sister, my nephew, my niece here with us. Yes, sir. My dad over here, we looking around. They got a bunch of stuff in here, man. This right here gonna tease me a little bit today. Looking at a, that there, Glock 26. 589. Got a bunch of blocks over here. This look like the Glock section. Looking at a decent prices. Look at that custom made, custom weapons. Glock 17. Looking at 5. 49 for the Glock 17, double stack. Look like a Gen 3, Gen 2, Gen 3. Another Glock 17 right here. Bunch of pistols over here on this side so far. I just, we just walked in. Glock 21, Gen 4. Glock 33, Gen 4, got the little grip right here, small. Look like a compact weapon right there, 519. Got the little small little pocket rocket right here. Not sure what it is. To, um, that's a Taurus right there, the old school. But yeah, man, just showing y'all around a little bit. Y'all stay tuned. Dad, my sister right there, my niece and my nephew right here. That was right there is good for a concealed carry. See yeah, how the rubber is so small, yeah. Millimeter. Yeah, nine. Looking at 309 for the for the Ruger right here. Little compact weapon. Look like it probably it's a single stack. That's a torch. Probably hold about nine or ten. Yeah, the Taurus. Those follow ones down there are pretty cheap. 260. Gen 3 Taurus right here. 9 millimeter. Double stack. Probably hold about. Like 12, I think it do. That's decent for the Gen 3 Taurus. Got some rifles right here. Got it. Got some ARs over here. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. AR right here, Springfield. 919. For the Springfield AR right here. This one right here, it got, Western. Western. Of the, like, got a scope on it. Nice weapon. Yeah, what's this? It look like what you make bullets with, nine millimeter. Yeah. They in the candy jar. You got some shells right here. You want to make your own ammo. Look like some 40 round, 40, uh, 40 round right here. $25 for a big bag of ammo. You can make your own bullets with just the shells. 
got you some ammo right here sitting over here on the shelf. This the first uh first booth we sat at. I mean we're walking around so there's plenty more in here to see, but we just taking our time right now. Check this out. LR, it? That's pretty good price. If it was a nine millimeter, it'd be perfect. But it's a 22, 22 LR. LR. Yeah, that's why it's cheap. It's, it's uh, yeah, that's why 22 it's LR. Uh, rifle right here. Three ninety nine. That ain't too bad. And you get over here, right here, to the to the AK AK forty seven right here. Looking at 1100 for the AK. That ain't bad. That's nice. Full size AK right there, y'all. This right here got a folded stock on it. Look like a shotgun. Uh, it got a whole. It's a six shot. 389. That ain't bad. Got you a small shotty right here. A couple of them look like a shot wave. Marlboro 12 gauge. Looking at 5.99 for that. That ain't bad. I want one of these. One day I'm gonna get one of these right here. I'll probably change the this right here to like something like this on this side. But yeah, man, I like that. I like the. The uh, stock on it. That's fine. Yeah, man, we're gonna keep looking around, man. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. I already have it. I probably don't need it. Yeah. Here go a bunch of small compact weapons, man. Looking at a bunch of small stuff right here on this side. Uh, little pocket rockets, man. That right there, pretty. I like that there. 700 for that little, that little small. That one there, 800. And then 699 for that there. Look at that purple one right there, that's fire. Purple right there. Let's see what the tag on the purple one is. $1,000, uh, 1100 for the Kimberly edition. Okay, we got some old school holsters, cowboy style. Nice. I love these tours. Good God, somebody knows. All white tags, 25% right off. That ain't bad. Three twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Three twenty-five for the old school tours. I ain't never seen the tours like that. There. That's hard, right? Yeah, that's nice. That's a tour. Okay. It ain't that heavy either. 12 gauge. Yeah, that's fine. Got the pistol grip on it. That's nice. What's the tag on it? 500. 500. Yeah. Yeah, 500. Plus tax. That ain't bad. Look at that. <laughs> Like <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Mine me of a Yeah. It's nice, man. Uh, these are the tags. A little rifle these, right here. The ones that got that, uh, Big that collar. Yeah, I call it the collar. Little slide rail for you to put your attachments on. Yes, sir. Scopes. Comes. Got your scope. These scopes and stuff on there. Yeah. Hold on, they be out the flip on this one. Is this the one you can add right here? What is this? Nah, I don't know what that is. I know. That's why they got one right here. I don't know. You might can put change it, it out. Right here. Yeah, you this might get change it out. Though, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Looking at five. 20, 529 for that right there. ARs, man. Those are ripped. They just show off the attachments. Hello. Bunch of scopes over here, man. Red dots. Ooh, I 
I like that. Oh my god. That's nice. Go on top of a rifle. Now you're looking at the scope. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Look like a bunch of scopes right here for y'all, for y'all hunters out there deer hunting. Y'all want to go boar. Y'all want to go hunt some boar. Come up here, man. Crown Coliseum. Gun show out here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, man. They come out every every two, three months. They come out and they have a bunch of bunch of stuff set up. Um, I'm pretty sure they'd probably be close somewhere to y'all too, but uh, they coming out here. We just we just walking around, man. We seeing all type of stuff. Let me see if I can find me a clip for the Glock 23. See if I can find an extended clip for that. If I set my eye on one of them, they got a good price. I'd be able to probably try to grab something for the 40, man. Glock 23, Gen 3, chamber in 40 cal, extended clip, 30, 30 round, 31 round magazine. That's what I'm looking for. We just, we just walking around, man. Y'all stay tuned, though, man. Man, y'all check it out, man. Got a uh, mini Draco right here, man. Thousand and fifty, man. That ain't bad, man. For the thirty round magazine on it, it's chambered in uh seven six two rounds, man. That's nice, man. For the Draco. One day I'm gonna grab me one of these, man. I can't afford the Draco right now, but man, this is beautiful. Nice, mini Draco, man. Get over here, we got some knives on this side. Vintage knives. Good balance. Yeah, nice Look, key. handcrafted, them nice. Very nice. I like, the ones, with, me one I like the ones with more grip. Yeah, that more flip. grip on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's a nice. Them tour old right school knives, I can't, I can't keep up with them. They too slippery. <laughs> you need like something with the flip. grip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you like the fold, fold on them. That one fixed, fixed yeah. knife. That's the one that's fold right here. As y'all can see, man, there's a lot of people in here shopping around. Looking around here. We just see a lot of tables set up. Man, we ain't even get halfway through here, but. We just taking our time, y'all. We looking around, seeing what we can see. It's like some jury set up. Stones right there for the people that want to make their own jewelry. Stones all around here. Look at them. Rose Cortez. I mean, Quartz, Love, Dollar East. That's some pretty rocks right there, y'all. Smith and Wesson. <laughs> 75 mag look at that big big baby right there that's fire you uh, got some some revolvers over here you got your little ruger little small ruger right here 380 nice nice some long rifles right here Customized. Oh yeah. We got a lot of stuff in here, man. It's nice in here. Copperhead nine millimeter. It's nice right there. 
Let's see what the tag say on it. Well, it ain't no tag on that one. We got the black one right here. Look about the same, but a little different. Probably different generations. Yeah, man. Pocket man, LR man, it look bigger on the on the camera than it is in real life. But it's very small, very small weapon right here. That's that's cool. Look at this big old a big old rifle right here. Just showing y'all around, man. And y'all see what's going on. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. If y'all made it this far in the video, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. And uh, subscribe, man, so y'all can see more videos like this. And uh, we're going to keep it going, man. We're going to look around a little more. Check the scene out. And uh, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Y'all check it out, man. I'm going to come over here on this side. For my dog people, man. Look at him. He's chilling, man. That's a beautiful dog there, man. I'm not sure what he is. It looks kind of like a bully, man, on the XL side. I was just walking through here. I had noticed they had the tactical vest. Uh, I don't know if it's bulletproof. Oh, yeah, it's bulletproof. Holding the magazines all the way around, man. You go around with that. You fill that up with magazines, man. You're going to be ready for whatever. But um, I got the tactical vest out here, man. I like this. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looking at the uh, big and tall tactical buckle vest. Looking like it's, it's three, three nine, uh, 79 for the vest. They got a bunch of them over here. Yeah, man. I'm walking around here, man. I'm about the only guy walking around here looking like how I'm looking, so I'm trying to trying to blend in with the surroundings. But I see some other guys look sort of like me. But uh, you know, I got the got the dreads, so. I know they're keeping a little eye on me or whatever. I'm about to find a restroom real quick, man. And uh, we're gonna get back to it. Here we go. Yes. If you got your ticket, you gotta come in the other door. Okay. okay. I gotta go in the other door. I didn't have a stamp. Told me to come over here on the other side with my ticket. I gotta fill this ticket out, I guess. Yeah, man. Man, they got some, they got some beautiful weapons over here on this side, man. Looking at a bunch of gold weapons, custom looking, Draco, silver. <laughs> That silver Draco right there, man, it's two thousand dollars. It's nice, man, but that ain't it though, man. Listen, it's a bunch of stuff. Look at that silver shot wave. Looking at fifteen hundred for the silver shot wave. They got the gold weapons over here, silver and gold down there. Solid gold, solid gold. Uh, Smith and Wesson. 357 right there, big boy. Fire, man. Let's come over here on this side, looking at the uh, Draco right here. Got another Draco right here. Looking at 999 for this here. What y'all think, man? Tell me what y'all think. Comment down below if y'all like these Dracos and these. 
This man is seventeen hundred. Who's that? Who's that? Silver. section in the Taurus section. That's what we started off at over here on this side. Now we done made our way back to this side here. So we're looking around this here, Glock 22. What y'all think about the Glock 22? Glock 22, turning in 40 cal. Look like a, it's a Gen 3. Most you can tell by the grip right here, the finger grooves right here in the in the front. Block 22 look like a subcompact. Real nice, man. Real nice. There's so many guns, man. It's hard to show everything, but I'm trying to get the best footage I can get for y'all without making this video too long. Shotgun, man. AK. I don't know. I don't think it's a shotgun, but you're looking at 895 for the old school. AK 47s over here. Yeah. Right here, got the folding stock on it. Still haven't found me a clip. I know where they got the clips in here. I just don't know where they at. So much stuff in here, man. It's hard to it's hard to see everything. So we just looking. I can't really look. I'm showing y'all, trying to show y'all the best way I can. But uh, some weapons up in here. This man got the American flag on top of it. Nice. Yeah, 12 gauge. 12 gauge shotgun, man. Hold up. There goes some posters. There's some posters right there. Glock cases. For the Glock, if you don't have the case. Just knives over here. Got the axes right here. Yeah, man, it's nice. Guns and knives, y'all. But he didn't want me to record his table, so I won't. I won't buy nothing from him since he trying to be hard on me. I'm getting kind of some fucked up little vibes here and there, but we just sticking in there. I'm looking for my dad and my sister right now. I don't know exactly where they went to. He talking about, but talking about I can't record. He said, video is not allowed. That's what he just told me. So it is what it is, y'all. I don't know. 
just some vibes, man, some vibes. But uh, I'm ready to go at this point in time. Like, kind of threw me off right there. I didn't see what I was looking for yet. But um, I found my dad, my sister, so made it back over here with them. You find anything? Nah, I ain't see. I was gonna try to see if I can get an extended clip for that that Glock, but I ain't seen nothing yet, so. Nah. I was recording, old buddy told me, say, video's not allowed. I'm over here looking at his knives and showing that he got some axes. He just, I would just do it like this. I was, you know, showing everything, whatever he talking about. Excuse me, sir. I look up, he talking about video's not allowed. I said, all right. Yeah, no, all the way on that corner over there. So I said, well, really, how do you know somebody ain't video? <laughs> I don't I don't understand why I can't record. I mean, yeah, I'm showing not to record out there. No, it don't. And I'm saying like I'm showing your stuff off like you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. All right. Oh man, chill with it, you know what I'm saying? Check this out right here, man. Got some ARs right here. Shockwave. See, man, this is what I want my collection to look like. This, this, I will have all of these right here in my collection right here. Shockwave. Got some folding stock stuff right here. ARs. That's hard. Got the shoddy right here. 75 round drum on it. That's tough. Clock 45. Clock 44. Clock 22. Like 36, that one there a little smaller right there. Look like a, I can't tell if it's a double or a single stack, but you can tell it's smaller because where well, the finger grows is only two instead of three, so a little bit more compact than what. And this right here, the most, one of the most popular blocks right now, about 43, single stack. Looking at 429 for that, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I got it. So y'all, man, I found the uh, extended magazine for the clock. Yeah. Over there to the guy you was talking to. Um, I might let y'all check this out. Korean made. So y'all, I found the um the magazine for the Glock extended mag, 31 round. Finally laid eyes on it and I got it. So I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. It was only twenty dollars. I felt like that was a good deal. Seeing that it's kind of hard to find standard magazines right now. So yeah, I got it. Now we're about to fill out the ticket for the raffle. So yeah, y'all, I made it back. I'm still sitting out here in the parking lot, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As y'all can tell, I did get the extended magazine for the Glock 23, Michael Jordan. So what we gonna do before I end the video, we gonna, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. And if you ain't subscribed, like I said, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button for me if you can find it. And uh, y'all stay tuned. But right now, we gonna open this here. We gonna see how it fit. 
Y'all can see it out the plastic. 31 round magazine. And I got my handy dandy Glock case right here. So about to open it up. And uh Glock 23, drop the clip on this baby. And uh make sure we doing gun safety. Everything clear, as y'all can tell. Ain't nothing in it. She ready. Let's see. This is the first time with me with a 30 round magazine, man. I feel good. I found it for a great price. And I'm happy, man. I'm I'm satisfied. Let's see how it go in. This is the first time. Here it go. Ooh, woo. there she go, y'all. There she go. Extended mag. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get some more regular mags. As y'all know, this one here hold 12. No, it hold 13. This is a 13 round magazine right here. Then now we got the the 31 round mag right here, y'all. And uh, you know we're gonna take it and test it out. And uh, we're gonna see how it shoot and how it hold weapons. It's made of plastic though, that's the thing. But uh, this would be something just for like, just to have or whatever. And then I think it's Korean made. It's RWB, whoever that, you know, whoever that um, gun supplier is, made in Korea. If y'all can see that on the side, made in Korea. So, um, that's that man um so yeah i did find the the um 31 round mag it looks beautiful on this weapon but um it's made of plastic so this won't be the last 31 round magazine i find i mean that i do purchase um because like i said i want my stuff made like this glock right here is it's not made of plastic it's made of like a a harder type of material this one here a little bit softer. Like if I drop it, it seemed like it would kind of mess up or whatever. But all in all, I think it looks good. Y'all let me know how y'all what y'all think about it. And um, let me put this weapon up. I'm waving it around. Got people around me, but I did just want to show y'all this real quick. So man, like I said, man, y'all stay tuned. I hope I didn't make this video too long for y'all. For my dog people, I'm sorry. Whatever, I love y'all. And I appreciate all the support from everybody hitting that like button for me and everything like that. So, like I said, this is the end of this video. I'll put my, my regular mag back in. And I'm going to put it back in the case. But, like I say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Till the next video, we out.